You may have seen a certain mod floating around recently, one that is reigniting the unfathomable eeriness of Minecraft cave noises. It's being hailed as Minecraft's scariest mod, and it has a brand new monster, one that will stop at nothing to chase you down and kill you. For the average player, it is recommended to avoid this mob as much as possible. It is extremely fast and can even crouch down and squeeze its body through one block holes to try to get to you. This is no ordinary mob, this is a new breed, one that's never been seen or beaten before. It definitely has some new tricks up its sleeves, but so do I. The monster from the mod is called the Cave Dweller, and to know how to beat it, you first need to know how it operates. It spawns on a random timer when you're in a cave between 8 and 44 minutes. The more cave noises you hear, the closer it gets. It stands at 3 blocks tall, but the height doesn't even matter because when it sees you through a 2 or even 1 block gap, it'll crouch through to get to you. It runs at roughly 7.12 blocks per second, just as fast as a Minecraft player sprint jumping, meaning that you need to splash speed potions or pearl away if you want a chance at outrunning it. But I'm not showing you how to escape this beast. I'm showing how to face it and overcome it. And I'm going to do it on hard mode. So on this difficulty, it deals four and a half hearts of damage every time it hits you. Meaning, with no armor, you'll get killed in three hits. You may be thinking that you can just block your shield, but no, this mob has a strafing mechanic where it circles behind you to hit you when you're shielding. I don't know if this was implemented by the creator, but it sure makes things a hell of a lot harder. This mob, when it's spotted, will bolt towards you, and it won't stop until it dies, meaning that in order to beat it, you need to deplete its health. Now, this mob doesn't have any info or anything, and it's not compatible with any other mods, it crashes every time you try. That's why there's no replay mod shots of the monster, and all I can use is interrogation room quality footage. Does that make sense to you? Yes. That does make sense? What, so what I'm saying right now makes sense? This being the case, it made it a bit more difficult to gather data on this mob beyond what the original video states, and it doesn't really explain anything about the mob except its spawning mechanics, but with a little bit of testing, I found out the mob's health. 30 hearts. Its first weakness. Let's be honest, you didn't think I was just going to kneel before a mob as pathetic as this one, did you? Obviously, I'm going to find its exploits, memorize its patterns, and decompile its data. I'm going to stomp this thing into nothing but a spot on the floor. I'm going to show you how to do it as well. Take my hand, and I'll show you how to beat Minecraft's scariest mod. Now, before I begin ripping this thing to shreds, please everyone go subscribe to the creator of this mod. They made it themselves, and it's a lot of work to make something as creative and unique as this. Now let's put aside the idea of crystal PvPing this thing or minecart PvPing it, because honestly you would not have that skill set or those items in your hotbar when it spawns naturally in a world. But in an ideal situation, you're going to be going up against this thing with full gear. This means protection 4, unbreaking 3, netherite armor, golden apples, potions, and a sharpness 5 sword. With these items, even the worst player in the world could survive for a long time. But all of this is vast overkill, because with a sharp 5 netherite sword and strength 2, you can kill the cave dweller in... 3 crits. This thing is a lot more beatable than I thought. But that's just because I have netherite armor, right? And potions, and a good sword. What if I were just exploring my world with unenchanted diamond and normal food? Well then, it would be twice as hard. 6 crits with an unenchanted diamond sword would kill it. But what if I go lower? What if it's still too much gear? What if you only had iron food and no shield? Seven crits with an iron sword. And this is facing it head on, on hard mode. Trust me, this mob becomes a lot more exploitable when you utilize other blocks in the game. I'm going to show you how weak this thing really is. If you don't think that you can take this thing in a melee battle, or if you have less gear than iron, don't worry, it gets even easier to take it out, because despite its apparent changes in its behavior, it still falls short where every other mob does, and I've studied mob behavior quite a bit in my time. They have a few vulnerabilities that you can take advantage of. We start at the classic pitfall trap. You see when mobs see a trap door, they see it as a full block, whether it's opened or closed, meaning that they'll try to walk on it to get to you, and they'll fall down into a pit. The cave dweller acts no different. 
different. If you ever go into a cave, you can always set up a few of these things to run back over when you're being chased because this thing is stupid. But not only does it suffer from the classic pitfall, it also can be put into a boat and from there you can crit it out. And with five pieces of wood, you can nullify this creature's abilities. The creator seemed to be so focused on making the mob be able to crawl after you that they forgot to think vertically. All you need to do is have three blocks and build up into the air. It's literally just the iron golem again. The creator really wanted this mob to have lifelike control over its body more than other mobs, but it seems like it has less the more and more I look into it. There's some interesting characteristics about this mob that actually make it easy to stop or slow down. For instance, you can cob with it and low charge shoot it with damage arrows. This takes it out pretty fast. You can make it prick itself to death by hugging a cactus because apparently it has cataracts bigger than my chest. Not only that, but let's say you have absolutely nothing. You're stuck underground in a cave and you have the monster after you. Well, there's still a way to kill it. A lot of 1.18 plus caves spawn with aquifers, so all you need to do to beat the scariest mob in Minecraft is swim in the water. Because <laughs> it can't swim. And it won't wait for you to get out. It will literally walk towards you and drown itself to death. Come on, I'm really trying to be scared of this thing, but this is the funniest thing I've ever seen. But Ivory, it's not supposed to be fought. It's supposed to be avoided. And scary, it's not supposed to be a challenge. It's supposed to be scary. Now, when was the last time you genuinely got scared from bold XQC from Britain suffocating in a wall? I can even hijack its main selling point, the crawling, because it will only be able to crawl after you if there's a one by one, one block hole. If the hole is even one block longer, it will run into the wall and kill itself. It's obviously a bug, but don't you think it would be better if this thing could crawl after you into a strip mine, like a vent chase from a horror game? Or wouldn't it be better if it swam after you like the monster in Little Nightmares? There's so much missed potential in this, and I'm not even done. This mob is riddled with bugs. Firstly, only two thirds of its hitbox will actually detect you hitting it, but honestly, you might be lucky to even get a chance to hit it because it has a tendency to spawn in lava and burn to death, spawn in water and drown to death, or spawn it in a wall. Sometimes its own mechanics don't work. It's supposed to despawn when you're not looking at it after 30 seconds, but sometimes it's just like, I'm out. This monster has an immense amount to improve on, and that's what I'm here to do. I don't want to be the sour sport to just go tell the creator why their monster sucks. I want to help them improve it, make adjustments, or give them any ideas for the next monster they make. Because in all honesty, as much as I rip into this thing, it's still very creative and unique, and it has such potential to grow. We need a mod like this in Minecraft. It's finally something that could actually be scary, and it's made by one person, so obviously it's going to be flawed. It was released a week ago, so here are my suggestions. Firstly, let's make it look different. I don't know about most people, but this thing looks really goofy to me. I would probably either make the head taller or wider, and maybe add more teeth or no teeth. Right now it looks like it has glow sticks stuck in its gums. And please change its animation. I don't know how anyone can see this is scary. Personally, one of my favorite chasing animations is from The Joy of Creation. <laughs> The way that you can hear how heavy they are and how fast they are behind you is something that terrifies most people and it triggers their primal fear. Something like this with the cave dwellers stomping or galloping after you on all fours would make it so much more intense. And secondly, maybe make it climb. Any lifelike control that this mob did have over its body is instantly shattered when you build up, like you do with most mobs in the game. If you had this thing try to climb up after you and kill you when you were towering up, it would be the most terrifying thing ever. But don't stop there. You could also make it swim, jump, break cobwebs, and crawl longer distances. You could even make it slink under half slabs if you wanted to keep its slender figure. And finally, please make it have more health. Now look, I know what you're thinking. You want it to be escapable. You want the fear of the unknown to be in the player. And while that would work in any other horror game, that's the problem. Minecraft isn't a horror game. You said this yourself in your video. It's from this fact that you can capitalize on its innocence and make it a scarier horror game than most horror games. But if you can can kill it in three hits, I'm afraid it's not going to be much of a threat to be scared by at all. In my opinion, the way to universally scare all Minecraft players is to not only have great sound design and chasing tactics that you already have, but to also have such a high health that it discourages people from doing what I'm doing.
killing it. In a horror game, usually you get caught by the monster, you get a jump scare, and then you have to start over the level. I agree, this makes people desensitized to the scare factor of the monster. The fear of the unknown is gone, and it becomes more of a challenge than it does an actual scary monster. But that doesn't happen in Minecraft. In Minecraft, the players have so many things to fight with, to survive with. Why would this mob be scary for anyone with diamond armor? Minecraft and horror games are in a completely different ballpark from each other. I'm not saying it has to be inescapable or completely unkillable, but it needs to be so strong that you shake when you hear a cave noise, because not only is it terrifying, it's also going to kill you if it catches you. And you know that. I believe this can happen. I believe in a truly scary Minecraft mod. It's going to be hard to nail down, but we're so close with this mod. This is what great people in the community like Gargan are capable of, transforming this game into something completely different and giving us a genuine experience when the soulless game corporation devs fail to do so. And with improvements, this can be the scariest mob in Minecraft. But that being said, I'm still going to push myself. Even if everything I said wasn't enough, I'm going to challenge myself to beat it. In hard mode. No cheesing. No traps. No running. No building up. No potions. No healing. No weapons. And no armor. I'm going to beat it to death with my bare fists. Thank <laughs> you. 